Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee and good afternoon. I hope you guys are ready for a cook with me today. I am going to be making a Weight Watchers friendly pizza dough. It's only two ingredients, so it's super, super easy and like anybody can do it. And it is delicious. So let's get right into that. For me, this only ended up being 14 points. It only, does not take very long at all. Only about 20 minutes or so between cook time and, well, more like 25 minutes. It only takes about five minutes to mix everything up, 20 minutes to cook, and it is awesome. So let's get right into it. What you're going to need is self the Kroger or whatever brand, it doesn't matter, self-rising flour. And for the dough, uh, you'll need self-rising flour and non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I know it sounds crazy, but I promise you it is delicious. You do need an egg just for an egg wash to brush over it. Uh, you guys know from my pizza video, I just like cheese. I mean, I was going to I was planning on putting pepperoni in these, but I forgot to get pepperoni at the store. So, whoops on me. So, we, you need a mixing bowl. I'm going to use this to spray my baking sheet with. And then you do part for part of each of these. So, for me, the my mom said it's super low points. I don't know. Weight Watchers has different plans now that you can be on. I'm on green. So this specific amount of stuff is going to be 14 points for me, which is not bad for a lunch. I should be able to get a pretty decent sized calzone out of it. So I'm using three quarters of a cup each of the flour and the yogurt, and then a third of a cup of the cheese. And then I also have this little barbecue brush thing that I will be using to do the egg wash. So I went ahead and stirred the Greek yogurt because you know it naturally separates in the store and I am going to first do my dry stuff. You just want you know level measurements. So one two And three quarters of a cup of flour. You put that away. And we want one of a cup. I'm going to scrape it all out so it turns out right. Sorry if that's loud. And sorry if you can hear Raya chattering in the background. She's talking to herself. So. <clears throat> okay, now we're just going to mix this to combine. spray my hands take my ring off I'm gonna spray my hands a little bit with this spray so I don't get 
stuck. And I'm just going to thoroughly combine everything. I am going to get a little bit of flour out here. here so I can kind of get this good and mixed okay now I am going to I think since it is a little bit of a stickier dough I think I'm going to cut it split it in half into two so we have a top portion and a bottom portion let me rinse my hands so I can spray my sheet. So, let me take one part here. I should probably spray my hands again. Just get some nice flour. into a towel bin. I don't think it will rise super tortilla pizza video you can put whatever toppings you want in this I mean even if you're not doing Weight Watchers you can use regular pizza dough put whatever you want in it it will work out now since this is a calzone I'll be dipping and pizza sauce. I won't put pizza sauce on here since I will be dipping in pizza sauce and that looks like that filled that right up. So there we go and I am going to use my spray this time. I don't know if I finished saying what I was saying about the Weight Watchers. They switched it up to where you have different, when you first sign up for Weight Watchers, you have to take a test, not a test. You have to take a like a little quiz just so that they can more better understand your relationship with food and how they can better kind of help you through your weight loss journey. Um, I took the test and they recommended green. Um, the last time I was on Weight Watchers, they started me out with 23, 24 points. So this time, since I'm on green, it started me out with 40 points. And I was like, hmm, that is quite a bit more. I am just going to put this right on top here. That's quite a bit more points than I had before. I'm just going to pinch, start pinching the edges over here. It's quite a bit more points than I had last time. And I wasn't sure if they changed things because I haven't been on Weight Watchers since before I found out I was pregnant with my son. So I didn't know if they just changed things um, or what the deal was. My mom is also on Weight Watchers. Um, so, I asked her and she said, no, I still have, but she's on the blue. So I think the green kind of tricks you into thinking 
um, that you have a lot more points to deal with, but they don't have nearly as many. Like on the green, just your fruits and vegetables are free. Where on the blue, I think grilled chicken was free. Like your meats were free, your eggs were free. Some meats have some kind of point value to them, but things that were on blue that had no points, like one egg is two points for me. So I think that's why I have so many more points because it like, they trick you into thinking, oh, I've got all these points, but then things that were, things that were zero points on blue are not zero points on green, if that makes any sense. So I think green is really good for people who really don't have a good relationship with food and people who eat because they're stressed or because they're bored or you know, people who don't just eat because they're hungry, which I definitely fall into that category. So. so I think this is a really good fit for me. So what I'm doing now, I was just cracking the egg and now I'm gonna beat the egg up a little bit to um, All right, I've beaten my egg. I'm gonna give my, I've got some flour on my little brush here. All right, I'm gonna dry my brush off. Now I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a spread with the egg. This will, if you are not a cook by any means, doing the egg wash over the dough will um, help it brown quite a bit and you could do this you don't want to do this if you're using this for pizza you don't want to do this over the whole crust if you're doing it on pizza you'll want to just do it around the crust and it will help it will help your um, It'll help your crust brown a little bit. All right, so now I am gonna pop this bad boy in the oven. I've had my oven preheating at 400 degrees. I'm just gonna stick that right in the middle of my oven. I'm going to set my timer for, oh, 10 minutes and I will bring you back when I check on it. Okay guys, our 10 minute timer just went off and let's see, this is how we're looking. I know my oven needs cleaned. Um, it definitely needs some more time. It's not quite brown yet. So we will check back in another 10 minutes. Okay, so it has been another 10 minutes and ooh, that's looking good. What do you guys think? I don't know, it might need, maybe it just like another two minutes or so. Okay, let's set two minutes. We have about 20 seconds left. If you've noticed this right here, no, my oven is not smoking. It is a humidifier. Got some sick babies, sick hubby. So there's my timer and let's see. Oh yeah, that's what it needed. So that looks delicious. Be back in a sec. This smells so good, you guys. And it looks huge. The recipe is one cup for one cup. I mean, that would have been like humongous. I used three quarters. So let me get it on the plate and I'll show you the finished product. You guys, seriously, this smells so good. I'm gonna, I wanted to get one before I cut it because I don't know if it's gonna 
But look, I've got my pizza sauce all heated up and ready to go. Okay guys, there you have it. Weight Watchers friendly calzone. I'll let you know how it is in the outro. See you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed cooking with me today, hanging out with me. That calzone was delicious. Like probably best pizza dough ever. I know it's crazy. Flour and Greek yogurt, who would have thought? I was very skeptical when my mom gave me that recipe, but it was awesome. And I will say getting it crispy definitely makes it, it probably wouldn't be that great if it wasn't super crispy. So definitely need to do the egg wash, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you end up giving it a try. Totally worth it. Kids would love it. I mean, I haven't made it for my kids, but I, they would love it. It tastes just like regular pizza dough. So with that, don't forget to like, comment, let me know if you tried this recipe, if you enjoyed it, what variations you made with it. Did you make pizza? Did you do a calzone? What toppings did you put in it? Don't forget to subscribe down below. That really helps me out, helps me build my channel. So please hit that red subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss a single video from me. I will have a clean with me video coming up soon. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to it. Bye. Thank you.